All right, welcome to the video. Today, we're gonna be doing some meal prep on the griddle and I'll be using my Weber slate. I used to have a Blackstone, I did like it, but I think this is far superior. So I'll also give you my thoughts and reviews on this Weber, which I know a lot of you have asked for. But today we're gonna start out with the protein, of course, right? What else? So I'm gonna be cooking up four pounds of this organic grass-fed beef. What I love about cooking this on the Blackstone is it makes it super simple and super fast. You just throw it on there all at once. And then I'll also cook up these organic chicken breasts. You can tell they're very thin. I feel like the Blackstone does a much better job of cooking the food if it is a little thinner. And then if I have a thick piece of meat, I put it on the standard Weber grill over here. So one of the things I like about the Weber more than the Blackstone is every time I come out here, it automatically fires up. I don't have to wonder, is this actually going to ignite like I did on my Blackstone? So that is definitely a plus. Megan is gonna be very happy. I'm doing all the meal prep outside this week. I'm just gonna put all the ground beef on here first. Now for me personally, ground beef is a staple in my everyday diet. I like to have a big batch always made up. It's so versatile, you can do so many different things with it. I just find that if it's already made, I don't have the excuse not to make good food choices throughout the week. So it looks like I'll have enough room on this side to throw this chicken on as well. This is gonna cook very quickly because of how thin it is. I just seasoned that up with some chipotle lime, garlic, and salt, which is delicious. And as the beef gets a little bit more cooked, I'll season that up as well. The other thing I really like about this Weber slate is how evenly it cooks. I found on my Blackstone, and again, I really like the Blackstone, uh, but I had some hot spots that would cook really, really fast, and then some dead areas that seem to not really cook at all. I still have some hotter spots on this grill, but it's not nearly as noticeable, so I can find I, I have a much more even cook. So if you're like I was a few years ago and you're on the fence about getting a griddle or a flat top, I definitely think that it's worth it, especially for something like meal prep. I can just do this so fast and not have to dirty up the kitchen. When I'm not recording, my whole meal prep might only take me 30 to 40 minutes for the entire week which is awesome. And it just makes sure that I'm eating food at home, I'm not going out. And also, I really enjoy the process. Ask anybody that has gotten into this. It is a ton of fun. Another thing I love about the slate, all this extra surface area. So this tray actually just pops right down if you wanna put the cover on, but I have all the space I need to put my trays, my accessories, it's just, very well thought through and everything on this is very functional. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the beef with some salt and some garlic. So while the grill's hot, I'm gonna go ahead and make this teriyaki stir fry. All I gotta do is same thing, dump it straight on there. This is something that's just nice and convenient to have. I don't even have plans for it currently. Maybe we'll mix it with some of the chicken, but it's just one of those things where you know you're gonna get busy throughout the week. You're gonna be happy that you have something prepped and ready to go. And most importantly, you don't have anything extra to clean. Next up, I'm gonna throw these frozen organic sweet potatoes on the other side. These are great. You can pick these up at Aldi's for a few bucks. They're just already chopped for you. It's so convenient. And again, we'll have it ready to go for the busy work week. All right, we'll get everything laid out here again. It's so nice to have all of this extra room and it might not be a fair comparison because I know Blackstone does have bigger models than the smaller version that I had but I let this sit a little too long stuck but that is okay I'm gonna go ahead and add some teriyaki sauce just like that all right nice char on the sweet potatoes that's another reason I absolutely love using a flat top it gives it so much extra flavor
every week I make a big batch of PE Science protein pancakes. And what I love is that it is so easy because all you have to do is mix the powder in the water. So traditionally, if I'm just making a single serving, I'll add one scoop of the protein pancake mix and then one scoop of the protein to add some extra protein in there. But if I wanna meal prep them, I'll usually do three scoops of each and just make sure you add enough water in that mixture. You want a little bit runnier of a consistency so that they don't dry out. But what I love about this is this is a fast and easy way to get additional protein and it is delicious. So if you do it like I just said, each pancake will be about 180 calories with over 20 grams of protein. I can just grab them anytime I need them. Griffin likes to eat my stash for sure, but I love having those available. And again, when I'm making that, I can put anything else on the griddle. A lot of times I'll put sausage or bacon or whatever else that I need for the week, but then it's all done. Ultimately, meal prepping this way is cheaper, faster, and healthier than any other alternative. So I hope you got something out of it. Let me know if you have any questions or if you have any questions on the Weber Slate. I absolutely love that thing. I think you guys would as well, but I look forward to talking to y'all next time.